Uh, I should probably start by saying that the 2022 Crosses games were definitely a disappointment for me. There are definitely good, good things that happened throughout the season, but there are also things during the competition that I wasn't, you know, very happy about. Either it was the preparation or it was just like that weekend that I just wasn't feeling it and, you know, things didn't fall in my place and stuff like that. If I put it into few words, it's it was a disappointment, but you can always learn something from the games this year, for sure. After the last event, mm -hmm. you looked at somebody in the crowd and you said, ninth place, my worst finish since 2015. Tough, tough this year. My worst finish since 2015. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's probably why it's a disappointment. I haven't ranked lower at the game since 2015. If you look at the field of play, if you look at the top 10 guys, it's not like a bad group to be with. And there are definitely a lot of people or a lot of guys that would trade, you know, with me to be ninth at the Crosses Games. It's not like a very bad accomplishment, but, you know, obviously we know that, and I know, myself that this is not the reason why why I came out to be ninth. It's it's always to go out there and try to win. Usually by Friday night, by Saturday night, I'm like looking into the top five, like, you know, striking distance from podium, stuff like that. And then you found yourself in like, I don't know, maybe just a little bit outside of the top 10, even looking in and you try to find like <laughs> sort of the motivation to like keep going because the podium is not within reach uh, but you also you know always want to like do your best and like give give it your all so that's kind of like the end results like, i don't think i felt this feeling at the games in yeah never i think <laughs> In the Coliseum, I think it was Friday night, uh, I was pretty pissed because I got a lot of no reps on the pistol in the previous event. I was angry, so I just wanted to like get all that anger out and and apparently we had the strict dips and the, and the squat clean workout where I finished second and I actually won my heat. So that was like a very good and positive experience, but there were also many other events where I think I did pretty good, like the toast to bar bike event into the Chester Barn bike. That went very well. You know, there are definitely things that I've been working on that, ha that I could show at this year's games, but there were just too many mistakes made overall, and maybe I just didn't get lucky enough with the programming. But you also don't want to just get lucky with the programming. You want to be able to do very well, you know, despite what they what they program. If I look back at all the, all the years, then it was the 14 where I was a rookie, you know, I was more of a fanboy in 2014 and then 15 I made the podium, surprised the world I guess. And then 16, 17 and 18 it was kind of just like flat. And then it was 19 and the same thing happened, like 15. So like similar years, same podium experience. Then we had the Covid year in 2020 and then 2021 was kind of like 16, 17 and 18 because it was like at the same range, like 4th, 5th, something like that. But then this year I felt more prepared, I think. Overall the body was feeling much, much better. Like I feel much better in my body this year than I have forever, basically. And then ending up 9th was just, like I'm saying, just like a little, disappoint, uh, little disappointing and then yeah, just kind of just expected it to be a little better. But then again, if you look at the event, it's like, it's second here and it's a second there. And three seconds in a workout might mean that you finish seventh or 20th. And I feel like we had a lot of those events. Like, not trying to whine or anything, but that was just the case this year that we had events. They were more of a sprinting events where the margin was just so small between, you know, fifth and 20th. So if you don't prepare enough for those kind of events, you know, this is what happens. What are your feelings towards CrossFit and the sport in general? Uh, I I think I hated CrossFit for about a week. Uh, went to Miami, didn't do a single air squat. I did my first air squat 10 days after the CrossFit Games. It actually felt pretty good. But um, yeah, no, like a few weeks after the Games, you don't want to think about CrossFit too much. But in the back of your mind, it's always, you know, what could have gone better? Like, what should I be working on for next year and that's definitely what we have been thinking. I'm not losing sleep over this at all. Uh, I'm fine with it. This is just something that happened. I'll definitely take it with me and do something about it, but I'm not just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna 
cry for too long about what happened this year. So you said that it was hard to find the motivation to keep going when you mm -hmm. knew the podium was out of reach. What about now? Is it is it hard to find the motivation to prepare for next year's games? I'm not going to be motivated all the time, so it just needs to be consistency in the training, which it always has been, and um, just focusing on trying to fix the things that went wrong this year. Uh, but then also, not just fixing them, but try to be you know, very good at them. I'll take some chances in regards of training. There are definitely things and areas that I lack, uh, that are lacking. I, wa I want to bring in people for the for, for my training, get some help with the things that I need help with. My technique is good and I can save myself on technique against the American guys, basically, because they are, I feel, one or two levels ahead in just pure strength. So I focused very much this season on squatting and deadlifting and getting like that pure strength up, which I <clears throat> eventually got, but then at this year's games, we didn't even test any of it. Got sandbags. Uh, so I wasn't able to squat that much. What I'm lacking is like horsepower, is power output stuff, is something that, you know, short events, fast, quick, uh, putting, you know, a lot of force into the machines, yoke carry, stuff like that, like very, very heavy, short, that kind of stuff that I need to be better at. And we have already talked to this one guy in Iceland that's gonna help us this year. Next games will be your 10th games. Are you willing to give it all this season? Oh, absolutely. Like you were saying, like I come off this year's games very motivated and very ready to just get get started. The next competition is the Rogue, and by that time I want to be a much more powerful athlete. I don't think I'm going to lose my conditioning very much, I think it's it's built in there. So I just want to be very powerful and show like a new, new side of BKG.